morning. Haven't did a video in a little while. I thought I'd do a little update. I'm uh, boring out these hinge. They go over the hinge pin. My star lay. This is the old tree. It never did work right. And, and um, I didn't know too much about it. The only one I had, I was uh, kind of afraid that afraid to take it apart. I might not be able to get it back together. So I ran into a, a deal over here, and uh, I got this one. This is a parts machine, and uh, as it turns out, this one's in really good shape. See, it, it, I don't know if you can see. Will it focus it? The ways even have the machine marks still on them. This one, uh, probably another one of those little ones that got put away and not used. But I took the slide rest off and because mine, all the half nuts wouldn't work. And this this slide rest here, it came off of uh, the old three. And I found out that there's a piece missing <laughs> right here. It's supposed to be a piece bolted in, and uh, it's not there. Plus, you can see these. Uh, the teeth on this, this little pinion gear have been twisted. So somebody got in here and worked on it and, and forgot to put the, this one piece. It actually goes through here and, and has a worm gear that, that rides off of this so that you, you can use your travel without the half nuts. And that's why that one wouldn't work. And wouldn't you know it, this this particular lathe here has a, the latest patent date is 1920. And I took it off. It, it, the slide rest fits perfectly over here, which really helped me out. So now, my lathe will run an automatic, which is what I was looking for. a couple other things that I've been doing on my trailer. I had these for a few years and I always wanted to put them on there and couldn't figure out how to put portholes on a trailer that didn't have any holes. And And now I got four holes. And if you look, I don't know if this shows it. All the way through, I put four holes on both sides. So I think it looks cool. Well, just a little short update. Thanks for watching. Bye.